All right, let me go to Nick Bauden. He is uh, fresh off the practice field at San Diego State. He is standing by on the Corky's hotline, and he hasn't been on the show in quite a while. Here he is, Aztec yeah, fullback. Yeah, thank you for having me. Nick Bauden, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm doing great, man. Just got off the field, uh, ready to try to get another dub here. Yeah, Sounds dude. like you had a pretty good practice. Yeah, absolutely, man. Everybody's super excited. We're uh, trying to not take a single week off. Yeah. Well, listen, man. I mean, the way you guys, you guys have been on fire. And, and not only have you guys been on fire, but you look around and you see Arizona State beating Oregon this past weekend or Stanford beating UCLA. I mean, these wins were not fluky, and the teams have performed after you guys have beaten them. It just validates the victories for you guys. And then to follow it up with this Air Force win, given the weather, you guys are on fire, dude. How's it feel? Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, it's not something that we – it's a surprise to anybody here. Uh, everybody in our locker room, everybody upstairs on the second floor, meeting all the coaches, uh, we all felt this is exactly uh, how we could perform. So we're just excited to keep it rolling. Nick, uh, explain to us and, and everybody who's tuning in how a kid like yourself goes from being a state champion high school quarterback at Los Gatos, comes down here to San Diego State where you expect, expect to play and do play QB, and how you wind up leaving the quarterback position to become a fullback. Uh, at first, it was really hard. I mean, obviously, there's some physical challenges that uh, are big differences between the two positions. So that was the number one thing that I had to try to get changed. And then mentally, it was, was really something that was hard for me to overcome. Uh, I'd never played another position other than quarterback because I started playing when I was a freshman in high school. I never had any little league or anything like that. So really hitting was all, all really new to me. And then, uh, I mean, Coach Horton's obviously the best running backs coach in the country. Uh, it's really clear with all the past running backs we've had come through, the past fullbacks who have been great. So I'm just trying to uh, do what I can, try to be like those guys before me and try to pop some holes open for these running backs. Yeah, the, the amazing thing is, though, you're a quarterback all your life. And, yeah. and, and now you, you're that guy that has to open up the hole for the, for the running back. That's, that's, an, that's an incredible transition to I make. just don't understand why, though. What was the reason yeah. why leave the quarterback position to become a fullback? What was the reasoning? Um, well, I'd like to say I can see the future and that our team is going to be amazing in the next couple of years, but that's just not the case. I mean, I love all the coaches here. Uh, I love Coach Hall. He's had, he has a great program here. Um, I just had no reason to leave, you know? No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, 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 is what makes the decision for you? You're, you're a quarterback. You're recruited as a quarterback. You're a backup quarterback. You did play. I'm trying to remember. There was a game. Somebody may have gotten injured and you, you came in and played. And didn't you even get a start the following week? Yeah, Quinn Taylor uh, got injured. That was my true freshman year. And then I started the, the game against Fresno and then started the game against New Mexico and really didn't do that well. I mean, I was I was kind of feeling it as a freshman, honestly. And then uh, the next year we had a coaching change, and I didn't really perform the way that they thought I was going to, the way that I thought I was going to in the spring. And after, uh, that was when they made the switch. And, they, and, and uh, they, luckily I had Dakota Gordon to be behind and learn some stuff from, from him. Yeah, and how much did incredible. you how much did you weigh back then as a quarterback? Uh, well, I came in at like two thirty, so I was already pretty big. Uh, I loved lifting early on in my high school career. Uh, I wanted to be the biggest quarterback in my league, so maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing. But uh, there's, uh, I mean, yeah, I was probably they, I probably got down to about two twenty two, two twenty five. But uh, I now, just loved lifting. Yeah, and now you're back up to what? And uh, they they list you at two forty five. Is that how big you are? Yeah, I'm 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 in there between two forty five, two fifty. Jeez, I probably man. play at about two two forty eight now. You think you have a future as an NFL fullback? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> no question. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I it's a, it's a position to. that uh, you know they don't really. There's not as many as there used to be. They sometimes they use tight ends. Sometimes they use defensive linemen. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's a chance. There's, I mean, I guess the point was you have a better chance of playing fullback in the NFL than you do of playing quarterback. That's that's definitely the case. I, <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's really cool, man. Yeah, Nick Bond on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Tell us about your boy Rashad Penny. Four straight weeks, the Mountain West Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Oh, man, this guy has no signs of slowing down. He's an absolute animal. Uh, he, he's no doubt the best back in the country. I mean, the way that this guy comes to practice every single day is unreal. He, uh, he sets a great example for all the younger running backs, everybody on our team. Uh, the kid's really a great leader. How'd you like it's that fun, weather up at uh, How'd you like that weather up at Air Force on Saturday? different definitely <laughs> different yeah yeah that was it was unreal man um not not really what we were expecting honestly but hey uh the, the, the time we had off in the locker room to kind of regroup 
uh, seniors brought everybody together. Uh, Coach Long kind of had, had a, some few choice words for everybody about how we were playing, and uh, we were just really happy to get out of there. Yeah, really. so 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 halftime. This this was the time that, that Rocky kind of brought you guys together and kind of gave you the business. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he he told us uh, what we already knew about how how bad we were playing and. <laughs> kind of shocked us a little bit, but it's, it's definitely what we needed to hear. Somebody had to do it. That's right. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Nick, Nick Bodden, the senior fullback of the San Diego State football team, 4-0, ranked 19th in the country with Northern Illinois coming to town. And Nick, hey, beat these guys. They've got a quality win against Nebraska in Lincoln. So, again, it, it, the schedule is working out perfectly. You guys just got to keep winning. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're, we're definitely not looking past them. Uh, we know they're a great football team. Uh, they do a lot of good things on offense and defense, so we're just trying to prepare the best we can this week and uh, come out and try to do, do what we've been doing. You got it, man. Hey, go get him this weekend. Great yeah. talking to you always, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you having me on, guys. Thanks. Right. Nick Thanks, Nick. Yeah, former quarterback. Wow. Turned 245-pound fullback. Crazy story. Amazing.